Happy Tears Day. Let's return to Ragnar. So today I'm going to read chapter one of The Tale of Ragnar's Sons. It's translated by Ben Wagoner. After the death of King Hring, his son Ragnar assumed the kingship over the realms of the Swedes and the Danes. Then many kings came to the kingdom and subjected it to their rule because he was a young man and he seemed to them to be hardly fit for wise counsel or governing. There was one Jarl in West Goutland who was named Herod. He was a Jarl of King Ragnar. He was the wisest of men and a great warrior. He had one daughter who was called Fora, Fortress Heart. She was the loveliest woman that the king had ever heard of. The Jarl, her father, had given her a little snake as a mourning gift. At first she raised it in her little box, but after a while this snake became so large that it lay in a ring around her bower and bit its own tail. It became so savage that people didn't dare to come near the bower, except for those who gave it food or served the Jarl's daughter. And it ate an ox each day. The people were greatly terrified and they knew that it would do great harm, as huge and as savage as it had become. The Jarl then swore this most solemn oath, that he should give his daughter Fora to the man who would kill the snake, or who would dare to go and talk with her in front of the snake. When King Ragnar heard this news, he went to West Goutland, and when he had only a short way to go to the Jarl's estate, he set out in shaggy clothes, breeches, and a cape with sleeves and a hood. These clothes were matted with sand and tar. He took a great spear in his hand and was girded with a sword, and so he left his own men and went alone to the Jarl's estate and Fora's bower. And as soon as the snake saw that an unknown man had come, it reared up and blew venom against him. But he blocked it with his shield and boldly went at the snake and killed it with his spear in its heart. Then he drew his sword and hewed off the snake's head. And it turned out, as is said in the saga of King Ragnar, that he married for a fortress heart. And then he set out on a campaign and freed all of his kingdom. Ragnar had two sons with Fora. One was named Eric and the other Agnar. When they were a few years old, Fora fell sick and breathed her last. After that, Ragnar took to wife Aslug, whom some call Randolin, the daughter of Sigurd Fafnir's bane and Brynhild Budli's daughter. They had four sons. Ivor the Boneless was the eldest, then Bjorn Ironside, then Vitzirk, then Sigurd. There was a mark in his eye, like a serpent lying around the pupil, and for that he was called Sigurd Snake in the Eye. Mm -hmm.